my wonderful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. Today we are going to be making a video on gloves, particularly gloves for wheelchair users. These are actual wheelchair gloves because I don't know about you but I have found myself over the years with hundreds of different pairs of gloves and I also find myself with just one odd glove as well because I just keep losing them. I could do with some dish gloves right now. Oh, they are nice, they'll see you. They are special. We have a few different pairs of gloves, different styles of gloves that we're going to be putting through their paces. Ah! <laughs> to see which are the best ones. Also gonna head out in a moment to pick up some gloves. A while ago, over on the community tab, I asked you to leave your glove recommendations and we had quite a few come up, didn't we, Sean? We did. What did you few. see? Uh, there were motorbike gloves, cycling gloves, gardening gloves, builder gloves. Uh, so with that in mind, we're actually on our way to Halfords and B&Q. So let's see what we can yeah, find. There's always a distinctive smell in this place, yeah. isn't there? Well, um, oh, shoes are making my teeth go on end. Are they? Oh, God. What? <laughs> you sound like SpongeBob. It's so bad. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh. Look. Ooh. Ooh, BMX ones. <gasps> yeah. Oh, they're, they're nice, cool, aren't they? They've got the grip there. Mm. And they've How got, much are they? They're 12 pounds. And I think this is the kiddie section, but they fit like a glove. <laughs> All season gloves. I feel like they're quite similar to what I've already <coughs> got. Halfords essential gloves. They're tiny, look. <laughs> hello, Jim, hello, there hello. You go. This be is the what wheelchair I need. police. I can be the wheelchair. Excuse me, sir. Have you got a license for that thing? I found something better for you. <gasps> a siren for your wheelchair. No, it's not. <laughs> we should get all this stuff. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I like that helmet on you, actually. I think you like it too, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> That's they, defected. They've probably taken it out because of the annoying kids. The annoying kids. <laughs> right, serious now, Sean. Gosh, I can't take you anywhere. This looks a little bit more you um, can, serious. You can find some really good cycling things do cross over into wheelchair things, I find, don't yes, they? Definitely. So, but today I'm looking for thermal, waterproof, warm, snug as a bug gloves. I think these are the ones for you. Wetsuit gloves. They'll be really waterproof, Ooh. I would think. See what they feel like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're nice and snug on, and they go on nicely. Mm. Ooh, they do look yeah. good, don't they? Thermo wind. Windproof. Yeah, but they're not waterproof. What else have you got out the back, sir? These look like the adult version. Oh. That's a small. MTB. What does that stand for? MT MTB glove, multi-tasking British bike glove, gloves. bike glove, bike glove. <laughs> standing out here since they had a lot of cycling gloves already waiting for us at home. Maybe we should look at gardening gloves. Let's go. Ah, we're in Sean's favourite shop yeah, in the world. Get, this could be uh, dangerous coming <laughs> oh, in here. Well. Oops. When I come in here I just want to buy everything. Garden centres tend to have a distinct smell as well don't they? Yeah it's because we're down by the manure. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what I can smell. Gross. <laughs> plethora. Ooh. Plethora of gardening gloves for you. Look, got some lovely flowery ones. Ooh. Got some Aussie green and gold. Oh, nice. Green and gold, mate. Nice, it's not yellow, mate. that's bloody Aussie gold. Look, some bumblebee ones. A £1.50, Jim. Here you go, Jim. <gasps> well, okay. How much were these? Two pounds fifty. Yeah, they feel like they're worth about two pounds fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they don't look too bad. They look like your grandfather's driving gloves that he used to wear. They feel good yeah. on the rims. I'll though. get you some more. I'll get you some more. All right. Of course, I want to try, try the, the Aussie gold, gold ones with the ladybird. Yes. Daisy will probably want them. <laughs> you get them. These ones feel a lot nicer than the terracotta ones. <laughs> it's like in the jewels when they challenge you to a jewel. What do you do? Take off a glove and then they just go. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> we might find some builders' gloves. And see what they're like. Dum, dum, da, dum, dum, da, dum, just, dum, should dum, just be up here somewhere. Okay. These are the builders' gloves. I assume Ooh. that's what the um, person was talking about. Something like this. 
Oh, and their price point is a lot more affordable than the cycling gloves. Two pounds, four pounds twenty mm. maximum. That's the maximum. Yeah. Very similar to the gardening gloves. But these are super grippy. Hardcore. Good. They're not for, they're quite baggy here. They're nice and grippy, but not too grippy. This one's here. <laughs> the mime gloves. Right, so we've got a few pairs of gloves to try out. Not sure I have high hopes for these, but uh, we're going to put them through their paces and see how good they are. Well, my glove collection has just got a serious upgrade, and now it's time to unleash these hand-hugging wonders into the wild. But fear not, for we won't be subjecting them to just any old ordinary tests. Oh no, we've got a gauntlet of challenges that will make even the bravest gloves quiver with excitement. First up, we have the Weatherproof Wonders. And what is the first test we're going to be doing, Jim? We're going to be testing out how insulating they are. We're going to be putting them up against the wind. You're going to create your own wind anyway, aren't you? Yeah. Well, Sean, hey. I did have your bean feast last night. <laughs> We're going to be putting them through their paces on the Batek and using the very scientific, gem-approved Seanometer. OK, Gem, so what's your first choice? Well, I am actually beginning to get really, really cold now, and so I'm going to go for the biggest and the bestest. These are my favourites. I have had these for a long time. My sister bought these for me from Costco. They're nice, big, ski-insulating gloves, but as you can see, yeah. they're quite restrictive. Oh, look, we've got a friend. Binda will be jealous that we didn't bring her. Uh, woo! Get that wind going. As I'm picking up a little bit of speed now, the wind is going through my hair and it is pretty chilly. I cannot feel any wind through these gloves whatsoever. Do you reckon you've given them enough go? Definitely. Do you want to feel Let's the benefits the of the glove, Sean? Ah! Okay, next. Next are these. Um, these are all rounders. Let's see how these fare up against the wind. All right, off she goes. I'm gonna pick up some speed. They look good, those gloves. Love the colour. Now, keeping my hands nice and insulated, I can't feel the wind, but they're definitely not as cosy. The grip feels really nice on these. I can feel what I'm doing a bit better. These ones are just knitted ones, but they've got this kind of silver threading, so you can still use your phone. And they've got these little bobbles on, so they have lots and lots of grip. Look at that, see, they're like a second skin. I can feel the wind coming through these for sure and over time they're just going to get colder and colder and colder i love the snug fit of these i love the fact that i can sort of feel through them as well i can feel what i'm doing um, and the grip on them is making it really easy to use uh, the bike handles <laughs> all right let's crack the fingerless ones eh? uh, let's get them done all right these aren't keeping my hands particularly warm but oh, there's no. good padding on them I've got to say, I'm getting really cold now. Also, because they're quite, they cut off here. All the wind is going down there. Okay. So yeah, I'm feeling very cold. Are you ready for the Sean Let's just get it over and done with. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm really excited about these. These ones we've bought on Amazon. These are actual wheelchair gloves. Gloves designed for wheelchair users. So give them a go. These ones are different to the cycling gloves in the fact that the thumb is completely covered which is great so you'll have a, a nice warm thumb have a warm <laughs> um there's all the more a little bit more padding in here these little theme loops i i assume Maybe they're it's... to stop them slipping i feel like i'm putting on driving gloves uh, around the wrist they're not very tight so i can definitely feel the um wind coming up um down the glove and into my arm Woo! okay lewis hamilton how did they go Padding was good, but yeah, they're not really designed for a day like today. No, well, I let's think just see how they the, go. These will probably come into their own when we, you know, do the push tests yeah. and things like that. Like help. Let's do the building. <laughs> yeah, let's do the building. Work. Can you be quiet, please, ladies? Oh, God. God. oh I mean. Oh, they're fused. <laughs> they're oh, webbed. They're we webbed. <laughs> like amphibian. Hi, guys, I'm ready. <laughs> Here she goes. Good luck. These are a little bit warmer than um, the cycling gloves, <laughs> but I'm not sure about how they're looking. 
They're very, very baggy and there is a lot of grip in there. There's no padding, obviously, but they're not cozy. And she's back. Ooh, they look fancy, Jim. <laughs> I didn't feel... Oh, look, they're, I look, they're, they're, they're still webbed. Them. Yeah. <laughs> They've got a lot of grip. Um, yeah, they're, they're not very warm to each other. <laughs> not very, yeah, and they're not very um, comfortable. And yeah, Sean, a meter. Are you ready? Not two hands. Ah, oh. they're gold. They're gold. Right, next we've got yeah, two oh. pairs left, which are both the gardening gloves, but they're pretty much the same, just a different style. So should we just do one, considering how cold yeah. we're getting? Okay, well, which ones would you prefer? The ladybird one. <laughs> <laughs> I like these. <laughs> yeah, they're cute. Maybe you can use them gardening with me. These feel heaps nicer than the builder's gloves, that's for yeah, sure. They're a little bit nicely, don't they? soft. Yeah, they go on nicely. <laughs> it's about how you style Summer. them and how you wear them. Summer. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Oi, oi, oi! As expected, they're not very um, insulated. I can definitely feel the wind coming through onto the back of my hand there and down onto my wrist but the grip is really good and I can move around and I'm still I'm holding my phone with the other hand which has the glove on some of them I've had to take the glove off because there's no like touch pad on the fingers uh, but yeah they're quite good not bad at all not bad for two pounds I mean Oh, I just wouldn't get these uh, to keep your hands warm. They're more of a grip situation type thing. Stylish. They look good. I like those. <laughs> I actually really like them. For two pounds. Ready for the Shawnometer? Last one. Last one, huh? Right, let's do it. Alright. Oh, oh, oh! Now it is time for the waterproof challenge! I'm ready for you, Jim! It's raining. It's raining, Jen. Hurry up. Uh, not going to bother with these for obvious reasons. Um, and the first ones that we're going to start with are going to be my favourites, the Zip World gloves. All right, these ones are my favourite <laughs> ones. All right, See, let's go. five I seconds. Don't hold much hope for these knitted ones. Five seconds. One, ah! and two, no! and three. The back, no, Jen. No, 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 no. The these backs. are no. <laughs> they are absolutely soaked through but they still have grip but that feels horrible okay next ones ready go one and two and three and four yeah. and five yeah. and <laughs> six stop, stop, stop. <laughs> we have a winner these are feeling completely waterproof my hands are nice and cozy inside don't know if it's maybe beginning to seep through okay. on the whole those are pretty good i don't need right. the towel sir i don't need the towel right, okay <laughs> well done they are um right, okay. bone, right. Rose on. these ones were sold to us as completely waterproof in the video they put their hands in a bucket and they came out completely dry. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and... No, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a. <laughs> Fair Six. Fair test. Yeah, no, I can feel those seeping through ever so slowly, yeah. Wet, but they didn't soak through straight away like the Zip World gloves. So they're more... They're like a shower proof, I would say. This is knitted and this is like yeah. rubber. The good thing about these is that they have quite a lot of grip. One, oh, no, that's two, straight away, straight away. Three. Yeah, no. All right, they towel. They did not pass the test. Yeah, I definitely towel. need a towel. I'm soaked. <laughs> <laughs> but this I've got to say, good. the rain is coming. <laughs> Try pulling the back. Oh. Try pulling the back bit of it. Top. Here comes right. the rain. Here comes the rain again. Nice. Falling nice. on your hands like oh! a shirt. Well, the palms stayed nice and dry, but yeah, I can feel the, the baby finger filling up with the freezing cold water. <laughs> and obviously here they're absolutely soaked. Let's just feel the rims. Yeah. They're feeling still rims. really grippy. Tough, really that, isn't it? Like these ones. Yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of these ones. I'll make it known. Two. No. Three. No, 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 no. <laughs> and let's see how the grippiness feels. They're all right, but I wouldn't trust myself like going down a hill while it's wet. 
And it's disastrous. actually raining. Look, I have put myself through a lot here today, so please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe and let us know if there's anything else you want us to review. But hold those with two hands really high. Oh! <laughs> right, let's get out of this horrible weather. Mm. Well, there they all are. Pile of gloves. It's now time for the practical prowess where I put these gloves in real world circumstances and see how they fare. As you can see, I'm wearing one of my favorite ones, which are the Zip World ones. Wheeling around, they feel really great. There's a nice amount of grip on them, but not too much grip that I'm not able to slide the push rims through. One thing that I am beginning to feel though is because they are knitted and they've got the bobbles on, they are rubbing. So I think if I was going to be wheeling for any amount of time, they would begin to rub and make my hands really sore. Moving around and doing things like taking the brakes on and off is really nice and easy. And if I want to get anything from the back of my wheelchair, that's relatively easy too. I can feel the things and get what I need. Next up, it's the ski gloves, aka the oven gloves. When it comes to practicality, these are a complete failure. Trying to do any intricate task is almost impossible. I can hardly grab onto my push rims. If you want to keep your hands warm, these are the gloves for you, but that's about it. Next up is the uh, builder's gloves, which um, I do find are a little garish outside here. Besides from feeling very uh, <laughs> self-conscious, they're feeling great, really grippy, but not too grippy, um, but they are a bit cold and I feel like I'm wearing a costume. <laughs> These gloves completely failed the practicality test. The fit was just awful and I do not recommend them. Ready for the all-rounders now? Feeling a little cold? Wheel through nicely. There's a bit of grip, but not much. Not as much as the others. I can feel a little bit of grip there. I feel if these gloves fit me a little bit better, they would pass the practicality test. However, in quite a short amount of time, the grip on the palms has begun to come off. These ones are the wheelchair gloves, which I actually haven't tried properly yet. So I'm really excited to give these a go, see if they're any good. This is their virgin wheeling. Their virgin, their maiden voyage. Instantly, in weather like this, I can already feel the tips of my fingers freezing on the aluminium push rims. But they are offering good padding, good support. And it's really nice having my thumb covered as well, because with the cycling gloves, they don't have the thumb covered. So that's nice. Wheelies, wheelies, wheelies good. It's really, really good. Definitely nice, nice amount of grip there, but not too much. Not that it's like stopping me going. Yes, that's good because obviously I've got my fingers out. I can feel for what I'm looking for. On to the next one. Ha ha, I've got my other cycling gloves on. Let's give these ones a go. They're feeling pretty similar to the last ones that we just tried. So we're not going to bore you with the details. Ready for the next one, Sean? <gasps> it's my lucky lady wear gardening gloves. Let's give them a go. Oh, they feel good. They're not very warm, but I'm really, really liking the feel of these. There might not be any padding on them, but can you tell? <laughs> They've put a smile on my face. Really nice and grippy. But then when I'm trying to go down this slope in a wheelie position, they don't roll through as easily as they would with some of the other gloves that I've tried because they're a little bit too grippy. Let's try the brakes. Let's see if I can get anything out the back. Yes, it's not too bad. You can kind of feel through them, which is quite good. Next gloves. It's my trusty terracotta gardening gloves. We didn't try these down at Brooklyn's because they're so similar to the other ones, but as we're here, let's give them a whirl. Feeling quite good. They don't feel as nice as the ladybird ones, but they're nice and grippy. Nice if, feeling, no, if grip is what you want, these are really, really good, but they're not warm and they're not cozy or comfortable inside. Out of all of the gloves that I have tried today, which did I glove? <laughs> which did I not so much glove? It's hard because when it comes to gloves for wheelchair users, I don't think there is just one size fits all as it were. There's not one type of glove that is just perfect for wheelchair users. It depends on what activities you're doing, what the climate's like, what kind of chair you're using. So many different factors. Let's take the ski gloves, for example. These are amazing if you're using um, like a power add-on with my bike, they keep my hands nice and insulated. Maybe if you're using a power chair, these would be really good. Maybe if you're being pushed in a wheelchair, 
these are really good. But if you are an active wheelchair user and you have lots of intricate tasks to do, these are no good. But when we've got the all-rounders, these are really good as well, but they are beginning to fall apart a little bit. Um, and they were a little bit big. And I think that is one of the keys when it comes to choosing gloves for wheelchair users. You want a nice, snug fit. And I don't think I have particularly small hands, um, but surprisingly, the gardening gloves really impressed me. The fit me really well and um, the grip was great. They're not warm, um, but if you want to keep your hands clean, you want some grip and you get through gloves really, really quickly, this is a very affordable option at about two pounds. If you're replacing these every two or three months, that's much better than having to replace, you know, like a 20 pound pair of gloves. The other gloves that I really, really loved is the actual wheelchair gloves. They offered great support. They offered great padding and grip for wheeling. And I would definitely recommend having these in your collection. And I think that's what is gonna have to be the case when you are a wheelchair user looking for gloves. You're gonna wanna have a little collection for every eventuality and every activity that you do. When it comes to the builder's gloves and the adult gardener's gloves, they are a complete waste of time. Um, they were too big, too baggy, and no good at all. I would have loved to have tried a pair of fingerless gloves that have like the mitt thing over the top and we found these these look amazing but just look at the price point if you have tried these or you know a good alternative let me know i think the gloves that i would glove to have in my collection would be tight waterproof have a little bit of padding and a little bit of grip and thermal if they exist let me know i had high hopes for these ones but unfortunately they just fell short. Very proudly adding to my collection are the Lucky Ladybird gardening gloves for sure. Let me know if you have got any of these gloves in your collection. Let me know what gloves you find the best. And if you really enjoyed this video and you want to see more like this, let me know what we should try and put through their paces. If you enjoyed this video, I think you're going to enjoy this video, which is actually one of my favourite videos. This video has been completely self-funded, so if I have given you some value today, then please feel free to give me a super thanks, a bit like tipping your waiter at a restaurant. If you can't do that, then make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Bye!